guys. Welcome back to Stampaholics Anonymous. Today we are going to revisit those uh, magnetic powders, or one of them at least, that I tried from Born Pretty Store and uh, in which I didn't, you know, succeed all the way in getting that cat eye or magnet effect. Uh, and a bunch of you guys suggested different techniques to try out and you may remember that I uh, did figure out in the end that using a wipe top coat, not the no wipe top coat that I usually use. This is the no wipe top coat. Who's not going to get to play with us today? But um, just a regular gel top coat that is not a no wipe so that has a sticky layer that that actually worked better um some people also suggested mixing the powders into a regular top coat i'm not sure i want to do that but i do want to try out whether this works better like on a regular top coat and so i grabbed one of the few remaining top coats i have that are not quick drying because I want to give this like a fair chance to be able to move around, you know, the magnetic particles to move around on my nails. Uh, so we're going to try the No Wipe uh, Gel Top Coat, we're going to try a regular top coat, and then I also brought out like a stronger magnet. You can see how strong this one is. It has a weird shape and it also has a weird story of how it got to our household. We were changing a tire <laughs> on our car in the backyard of like the last place we lived at the last apartment we lived at um there was like this giant it felt like a stone in the ground that was like in the way of where we would uh, need to put the jack in order to jack up the car um so we dug it out and put it to the side put the car jack down and changed the tire and everything was hunky-dory and then i took a closer look at that stone and it was so weird because it, it just looked so jagged and it looked like particles were sticking off of it and so weird. So I, I started, you know, peeling away at that stone, supposedly, and it turns out it was a... <laughs> like an an egg-shaped object um and it, it looked so weird it looked like straight out of like a science fiction movie where you know aliens would send little pods down to earth to spy on us that's exactly what it looked like but i kept cleaning it off and in the end i i ended up with this little magnet so weird we still don't know who lost it in that you know yard um of our old apartment building but it's so weird but we've kept it ever since and it's like the strongest magnet i own uh currently so we're gonna try to do something with this and you know make those little magnet particles move around in fact i am going to try or do like a little uh, experiment before we start, you know, painting my nails. I'm gonna see if the particles in the powder actually move uh, when I just put them like down on a piece of paper and then we're gonna get into trying so the science, science and error. That's what we're gonna call this today. So let me set up uh, everything to try uh, out the magnetic powder. Um, I'm using the purple because that's the favorite, my favorite color I had from last time. And fun fact, one of the <laughs> magnetic powder um, containers uh, decided to unscrew itself in my drawer. And uh, when I reached in to grab this one, my hand was covered in <laughs> the brown magnetic powder. So. <laughs> That was fun. I had a lot of fun cleaning that up in my drawer. And uh, so the brown powder is what we're going to use for our little scientific magnetic test. Alrighty, so here's the brown magnetic powder. And I'm going to try dumping a bit of it onto this piece of paper without spilling too much of it. And then we're going to see if the magnet does anything to it at all. And I bet it will. Oh, oopsies, clean that off, close this, so first let's see if the cat eye magnet does anything to it, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I need to remove all the metal objects from my workspace, because this magnet is just too strong, mm, where am I going to put it? like right about here. Okay, let's try the um, cat eye magnet first. If it does anything to the powder. Oh, it does. Here you go. So it is magnetic. So that's, that's good to know. Like really, that is good to know. Let me try cleaning this off with a, maybe this is a futile adventure. Ha ha ha, oh jeez. 
Okay, I'm gonna clean that off later. Let's see what the big magnet does to it. Ooh, something is happening. Yeah, it is working. So it is magnetic. So all we have to figure out is like the best way to apply it and, you know, have the best surface for these magnetic particles to move around in. So let me clean off all this uh, mess and meet you back for when I have the top coats on. All right, so I'm just going to start by the method that I discovered by the end of last episode, <laughs> basically, and that is the regular um, top coat, the not non wipe, the wipe top coat. What do what you what do you call this? You know, I know that you call the no wipe top coat a uh, no wipe top coat, but what do you call the other kind? Just a top coat? I don't know. But we're going to start off with uh, trying that on my pinky finger using the regular cat eye magnet that I have. Uh, and then we're going to move along um, and try using the regular top coat on my ring finger, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're going to figure it out as we go. So I'm going to apply the uh, wipe top coat <laughs> on my pinky and nuke it and then get back to you guys. All right, so my pinky is cured and I have not removed the tacky layer. Uh, and we're just going to go ahead and apply the powder um, like you normally would with a chrome powder. Um, and like buff it in there. And I'm going to be generous. <laughs> yeah, here we go. She's buffing it. I'm not really buffing it in there. I'm basically just um, dabbing it on there to get like a thick coat of it because I don't know, for some reason, I think that this will help this whole thing along. Okay. And then we are supposed to put the top coat uh, like another layer of top coat on before we use the magnet but let's see what will happen if we just use the magnet now not much okay good so <laughs> i was just curious to see what will well you know what happened okay let's apply a layer of regular top coat nice and thick there we go and now let's use the cat eye magnet i can't really see you can't really see none of us can see if something is happening and what is happening It happened. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yes, you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and mute this because uh, I would call this a success. And uh, I don't want to let it go to waste. <laughs> so I'm going to nuke it right away. Alrighty, so this has been cured. And as you can see, the line of the of like the cat eye magnet got a little wider and it seems like it dispersed. For some reason, I don't know what's going on with these magnetic magnetic powders. I don't know, weird. I'm going to remove the tacky layer. I have some rubbing alcohol or like isopropyl alcohol here. And I hope uh, it won't. Nope, it doesn't remove the color. That's good. Because I've heard horror stories about that also. So, tacky layer is gone. But as you can see, it's not a very even cat eye effect but it's definitely a magnetic effect. Not as nice as I have achieved like with my Mazura polishes, magnetic polishes in the past, but oh well, oh well. So next up, we are going to try the regular top coat. So let me move this a bit out of the way and uh, I'm gonna uh, pretend like um, this was a chrome powder or hollow powder and with those you are supposed to put on your top coat and then let it dry um, but not completely dry. It should be a little bit tacky so that you know when you would touch it with your finger you would still leave like a fingerprint on your nail when you touch it. So that's what we're gonna do with this regular top coat and then we're gonna see 
if the cat eye magnet does anything to it. By the way, on my nails, this black uh, is a regular polish over my peel of base coat. And this is uh, one of the Catrice Icon Nails. Review of this is coming up real soon. Uh, and if you can get your hands on this particular one, the black one, do it. You will not regret it. This is a great one coater black. Uh, at a drugstore price, like below three euros, and I'm loving it. I'm loving the brush, I'm loving the application of this. Maximum of two strokes per nail and you're done, and you've got a one-coater black. So what more could you ask for? So, I'm gonna wait until um, this is like tacky to the touch and meet you back. Okay, that went a lot faster than I thought. For some reason I thought that this was not quick drying, but apparently it is quick drying. Oh yeah, it says here that it's quick drying. Anywho, it has the right consistency right about now, so I'm gonna go ahead, be quick, and put some of this powder on there. I hope that it sticks, and that'll, you know, it'll do something. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to top this off, um, but I think I will use my water-based top coat to seal this in. Because it is a powder, after all, uh, and with powders, the water-based top coat is the only one that doesn't destroy it. So here's my water-based top coat, and I'm going to apply it, and then we're going to use the cat eye magnet and see if anything happens. Speaking of cat eyes, there's cat hair on my hand. There. It looks nice, but let's see if it will, you know, if it wants to magnetize. Well, the magnet is a good way to clean off your cuticles, let me tell you that. Ooh, and that did something. Oh wow! Ooh, I'm loving this. I am going to try out if one of the other, like, shape, um, Magnet shapes will do anything like under this combination, but the regular cat eye one definitely did something. So, this means that you can use these magnetic powders with regular um, top coat. You do not need to use a um, gel top coat, and just be sure to use like a water based top coat. Then, afterwards, you can always seal it in with your regular. Um, favorite uh, top coat but be sure to have a layer of water-based top coat underneath um i'm gonna let this dry clean this off and then do uh, another experiment on my middle finger using one of the other like shape magnets all right my middle finger has been prepped with the regular top coat uh and is tacky the right amount of tacky i am going to add the powder adding the powder dab, dab, dab. That might have been a bit too much powder. <clears throat> uh, and then I also applied top coat to my pointer and I'm gonna apply the magnetic powder here also and then we're gonna try the strong magnet on this nail. All right, so I've topped off both of my nails with um, the water-based top coat and I have this shape magnet and I'm gonna see if it does anything for, you know, my middle finger nail. I'm trying not to touch it, that always happens to me for some reason. Oh yeah, and that worked. Ooh -hoo. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, you can see it. Okay, well, let's now for shits and giggles. Uh, let's try the strong magnet and see what it'll do. Mm, maybe I have waited too long. And this has like already dried. I'm gonna try concentrating the magnet on this like one point here and see what happens. Nothing much. <laughs> That's too bad. But anyways, but we do know now that there's a method uh, which with, uh, with which 
Whew. Uh, you can achieve the magnetic effect. I'm going to show you on my little nubbin uh, thumbnail what a Mazura uh, magnetic polish can do. But first, I'm going to you know <laughs> um, clean this up a bit and then meet you back and, and show you like what a regular magnetic polish can do as opposed to this mess. Alrighty, so this is my favorite Mazura polish. It's called Andromeda's Nebula. Uh, and I know it's kind of unfair to towards like the other um, towards the powder because this one has hollow in it. But anyways, um, this is my favorite Missoula polish, like I said. Uh, and I'm just gonna use uh, my magnetic pen that I have from Dance Legend. I don't know why I don't even own one single uh, Dance Legend polish, but I'm gonna show you what it does. I'm gonna do this on camera. Yes. Go, just painting. Sorry for the sloppy swatch, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna show you what the magnet does with this Missoula polish and how strong. You see that? Can you see it? Can you see it? So this is what I want from a magnetic effect, and not you know, this mess. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna clean up and then meet you back for the final verdict of this little retest. Alright, so that was my little retest of the Born Pretty Store magnetic powders and would I recommend buying these? I don't know, I'm still unsure. I don't think that the effect you see here on my nails, uh, in fact, can you see them? Let me try to fix the light the lighting situation. I don't think that the effect uh, justifies these powders. I honestly don't. I, I still like this purple uh, powder look. I'm totally fine. I'm down with that. Um, but like the magnetic pattern effects you can get out of these powders aren't overwhelming. And then I also noticed that over time these patterns, like the cat eye patterns on my pinky and on my ring finger, they sort of dispersed, I would say. It's not worth it. If you want a good magnetic uh, something, buy Missoula polishes. That's just you know what what I think you should do. Mm. If if you want these powders for their colors, I can totally understand that. Like I said, the purple powder is really nice if there's no cat hair on it. But I don't think it's worth the trouble you have to go through to achieve a somewhat magnetic cat eye look. And there's easier ways to do this. So. I'm I'm not really digging these still, but um you know you guys requested you know a, a retest of this and uh, I showed you two different ways that you can use these. Um, let me know what you think about these. Um, like I said, I I wouldn't buy them again, not for the magnetic quality at least. Um, yeah, so that's it for today's you guys. Leave me a like and a comment if you thought that was this video was informative and helpful to you. Uh, and as always, thanks again for watching you guys. I will talk to you next time. Bye!